he just today, today, Jeff, today, Jeff, God started to deal with me and started as he's working with me. He says, are you ready for time travel? He did it again. He said it mm-hmm. again. He says, and now he gave me the, he gave me the year. He says, 2024 20, 20, on up. I go, wow, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm happy yeah. about this. Glory to God. Yeah. And in and, and the time travels, because I know Jeff mentioned it. Yeah. God doesn't allow me to, to see things. I interact. I touch. Mm-hmm. I feel. I talk to people. You know, so he's given me a very special gift to interact with people and things in, the, in my time travels. All right. Today, we're focusing on Dr. Manuel Johnson. And you heard it. He is a time traveler. And, uh, well, there used to be special facilities for people like this. It usually involved a rubber room and a straitjacket, but not today. In today's world, this is celebrated. In the Christian community, this is believed. No proof necessary, no need to verify, don't need confirmation. Just simply believe what he's saying, and that's okay with me. All right, so we're over at uh, Manuel Johnson's website, Mega Praise Ministries. He's got a prophetic tab. And so I'm going to roll here. We're going to listen to what he has to say. This is on his website. Here we go. Our God is a good God. He, uh, this happened around six, seven weeks ago. Very powerful. Where the Lord had ushered me into the future. And I went to some kind of portal, some kind of portal. And it was a real deal. And I knew I was in Southern California, which I live in California. So apparently God used California. And as I went into, went into this, uh, went through this portal, and I, I, I'm watching and I see a lot of movements. It was a beautiful day. A lot of movements. Nobody was wearing a mask. Glory to God. It was a thing of the past. The mask, the virus is going bye-bye. And I didn't know what year it was. So I saw a gentleman pass by me. And as he was passing by me, I had asked him. I said, sir, what year is this? And he looked at me crazy. He thought I looked like he, I, I think he thought I was drunk. And I said, sir, please tell me what, what year is this? And he looked at me and he says, where have you been? I said, please tell me what year is this? He goes, man, it's 2022. Don't you know? It's 2022. And I go, wow. And then he started to walk away. And I asked him again. I know I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to do this. I said, sir, who is the president? Who is the president? And he said, don't you know? I said, I don't. Please tell me, who is the president? And he told me, he said, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is our president. And Saints, get ready. I don't care how it looks now. Donald Trump is our next president. He will get a second term. So the, may, the way it looks, it may look like that he's not winning. It may, may look like all this stuff. But God has plans for our president. He will be in that you will see him being inaugur- inaugurated a second time, our president. And they're going to show that picture there on the screen. He will be inaugurated a second time. Donald Trump will be our president for a second term. Glory to God. All right. So there you heard it. Again, this is on his own website. Uh, He says that the God of all creation put him through a portal, traveling him through time to the year 2022. This was obviously from 2021, where he said uh, he interacted with a person in his time travel, and uh, the person told him that it was 2022, and that Donald Trump was currently, at that time, the president. Uh, He confirmed it that there will be another inauguration, so of course that would have had to happen in the year 2022. So he is, uh, you know, at this point, toe-to-toe with Julie Green. Now, as of today, it is November 30th. This still gives Manuel about 30, 31 days left for this alleged prophecy, this time travel story 
to be confirmed. It's that simple. So let's move on. Now we're moving on to another video. Now I got a, uh, I got a message from Jane Jones. So special thank you to her who sent me this link. This is a live stream he just did three hours ago. Three hours ago. We're going to listen to a clip here. Now, right now to you, I'm going to try to bring in the vision the best way I could say that I saw. And here it is. The face of our Savior. I had, just, I'm trying to bring in the vision that I saw. It was, it was cloudy, not, but I could still see it. And I see the flag of the United States next to Jesus. Wow. I is, this, is this guy probably the worst storyteller I've ever heard? The exaggerations, uh, you, you think this is a person speaking to four-year-old children. But yet you can see over here, I left this over here so you can see all the hearts and the hallelujahs. Uh, people believe this. This is delusion in real time. So I'm seeing this as, and I'm like, thank you, Lord. And then, so like I said, I'm trying to do this the best way I can. Oh man, I'm telling you, God is redeeming this nation. And then the vision was starting to get more detailed. So I'm doing it the best way I can do it, saints. And as a vision was getting detailed, the Lord says, I'm not done yet. What do you mean I'm not done yet? I know you're going to redeem the United States. My son, I said, I'm not done yet. Yes, Lord, I know you're not done. You're going to L look at him. Build the suspense. He's just building suspense, right? Because he fancies himself a storyteller. Redeem the United States. Third time, my son. Look and learn. And as this was happening, saints, here we go. It's, I, the eyes of the Lord was closed. And he says, I'm not done with my servant. <laughs> it's just, just a little overly dramatic. So what we've got here is another Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity, Trump nationalist who has hijacked the true gospel of Jesus Christ, and he's placed it upon America. It's all about America. And there, of course, is the visual that is accompanying his story. And then, of course, you'll start to see all the hallelujahs. Look, it's it's going to be glorious. And, and sadly, this is what these false prophets have done. They have transferred the hope that belongs exclusively and only for Jesus Christ. And they've placed that hope upon Donald Trump. He's mine, says the Lord. He's mine. People may think he's done. He's not done with the assignment that I have called him. It will be done my way. Not the way people think. I, the Lord, will restore him my way. To my righteous hand. I go, Lord, I got it. But they know this, Lord. He said, no, they don't. Many think it's going to go a different way. The way of an election. The Lord says, no, it's going to go my way. Now, I suppose this is up for interpretation, but it seems a little contradictory to what he was saying in his alleged time travel video on his website, where he said there would be another inauguration. 
And so I suppose they're going to argue that, but now all of a sudden it's something a little more vague. And uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's it's just all silly, isn't it? It's just all silliness. And again, taking the taking the glory and the hope that belongs only to Jesus and placing it on the shoulders of a man, Donald Trump. I am in charge. I said, "Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord." And then he went back, like you to the face of Jesus. And I started to bless him and praise him. And saints, I had to release that. That was the vision part. Glory to God. Shana the moment of all my, my God, I for the Holy Ghost. Woo! So that's some pretty good acting there. And of course, you got to throw in some tongues to make it official. Note the, uh, the ticker down here for donations, of course. And he gets, you know, look at the comments. I so love this. A lot of hearts. And uh, God be with President Trump. And again, it's just all silliness. Now, we're back on Manuel's website. And here he's got a promo for an upcoming event in which Timothy Dixon is, I believe, Timothy Dixon sponsoring this. It's called The Gathering. So very <laughs> witchy sounding, isn't it? And here you've got uh, many of the usual suspects, Robin Bullock, there's Emmanuel, there's Amanda Grace, there's Timothy Dixon, there's Julie Green. Now, Julie Green, as well as Emmanuel Johnson, uh, have both prophesied on many occasions that Donald Trump will have been restored as the President of the United States this year of 2022. We've got about 30-ish days left. Do you think when it doesn't happen, do you think Timothy will reject Julie Green biblically? Do you think Amanda Grace will call out Emmanuel Johnson for his false prophecy? And of course, the answer is no. They all run together. They all deceive together. They are ministers of Satan. They care not for the truth of the Holy Bible. They care not for sincerity in preaching the truth of the gospel. You rarely hear anything preached on sin, the cross, salvation, Jesus, raising from the dead. They're all in it for themselves. This right here is just a giant money grab. You've got a lot of rock stars coming together. You know, it's like monsters of rock. Remember back, for some of you that have been around for a while back and when they used to get a bunch of rock and roll bands together, they'd all play at one venue. This is it right here. So people are going to flock to see their favorite rock stars deceive and falsely prophesy. Sadly, a lot of them believe what's coming out of these uh, alleged prophets' mouths. And uh, But make no mistake, they stand not in the truth of Jesus Christ. They are wolves. There's nobody that could say, oh, I've been to heaven, I've seen it all. You never... Each time I go, it's a new experience for me. I'm in awe of the things of God. All right, so just so we can document this, uh, Dr. Johnson also says that he's been to heaven multiple times. So here he lines up with Kat Kerr. And, and here's an example also of him telling his uh, one of the, the story about one of his visitations to heaven. And he's got the visuals, so that always helps boost the imagination. And then here's the live chat with a lot of people giving a lot of hearts. And sadly, they believe him. And uh, 26,000 views on this one. So, again, an incredible reach. Um, just talking about fantasy and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. And just to round it up here, you could do your own search. I can't play. I can't listen to a lot of this. It, it really affects me. It's so blasphemous. But look at the titles. Time traveling. Here's a prophetic word about Mike Pence and time travel. Manuel Johnson. God took him to the future and he saw the ripple boom. Not the ripple boom. There's, there's just a ton of jokes there. I'm trying to be nice here. It's late at night, and now i got to think about the ripple boom. Oh, boy. 
And I guess that's a thing. So all kinds of stuff. Look, look at this one. Somebody called them out here. That's that's good to see. More Christians need to call this nonsense out. Here, uh, the setting for 45's return. That's uh, Donald Trump. And then, um, you know, they all they always talk about also the wealth transfer. This is just pure fantasy. There is no way something like that could ever work. But what they like to do is hijack things from the Bible. In this particular case, they always talk about the Exodus and how the Egyptians showed favor to the Israelites as they exited Egypt. And they gave them much wealth in the form of goods and jewelry. They're saying that that same thing is going to happen today. And so what, what that does is that gets a lot of people's hopes up that God is just going to drop wealth into people's laps. What do you think these believers, these once you know sober-minded believers, are going to do when they don't get that wealth that all these alleged prophets are promising them? They're going around telling their followers that God says there's going to be a wealth tra transfer. What do you think is going to happen to the psyche of these people when they don't get this wealth? They're, they're placing their hope upon this wealth. And again, what does that have to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Nothing. I'm going to leave you with this verse because this world is just going mad. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus left his throne. He took on the form of a man. He suffered brutality, scourging, torture, and he was crucified. He died an agonizing death, spending over six hours hung up on a cross. That is the gospel. He rose on the third day. He defeated death. This is what we need to preach. This is what broken, lost souls need to hear. Stop with the nonsense of time travel, wealth transfers, and all the other lies that come out of the mouths of these false prophets. And for these followers, awaken out of this. Jesus warned us over and over again about false prophets, as did the disciples. Awaken and serve Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity. Preach the gospel.